Hi, and thanks for joining me today. In this segment, we're going to talk about an often overlooked feature which just rolled out a few months ago, and that is the ability to set an expiration date on shared files in Google Drive. Now, this topic came up last night as several teachers in a class I was teaching were asking the question of, if I share a file with someone, how can I take away access from them in the future if I want to? And at that point, I used that opportunity to explain this new feature, which is expiration dates. So to give you an example, on this folder, this is a folder that I've already previously shared with someone. And if I right click on it and choose share, I can open up the sharing options on this folder. Now right now it shows that I've shared this with two other accounts. And if I wanted to add someone, all I would have to do is type in their email address and then choose their sharing settings. But from here, to get to the expiration dates, all I have to do is click Advanced. And you can see that as I roll over each of these people that I've shared with, you see a clock that pops up, and that is the Set Expiration Tool. If you click on that, then you can choose how long this person has access to this folder. For instance, right now it's set to 30 days. I can also set it to 7 days or I can choose a custom date in the future at which point their access to this folder would expire. You can also cancel the expiration and let them have unlimited access if you want to. Now the big question a lot of people have is why would you do this? Well sometimes you might be working with someone outside of your school district that needs access to information for a short time but they don't need unlimited access forever. So you can give them access for a few weeks or for instance maybe it's a flyer that you use every year for an event and you want to send it out and share it with students and then set an expiration date so that access to that flyer ends on the day after that event there's all sorts of reasons that you might do this but it's pretty easy to do once you set up your expiration dates then click save changes and done and that's it that's how you set an expiration date on a shared file or folder Thanks for joining me here today, and if you have other questions, feel free to check out my blog at www.techiecoach.com.